It's the Daily Doug. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to the Daily Doug. Thanks for being with me today. Y'all, you have found me on a Monday. That means it is a metal Monday. And for the second time on the channel, I am listening to music by Five Finger Death Punch. And I think it's going to be a real gut-wrenching episode y'all uh i first listened to five finger death punch it back in episode 516 and in that episode we were taking a look at the song bad company by the band bad company and i happened just to be able to sneak in the cover version by five finger death punch and that was the first time that i heard their music on the channel and ever since then y'all ever since that time i've been reminded pretty constantly of their song wrong side of heaven and i've been encouraged many times to give my thoughts on it and react to that song especially on veterans day well guess what today is happy veterans day everybody uh we are gonna see what this song is all about today and i think i'm ready uh, I don't know for sure, but I think I'm ready. So this band formed in 2005 in Las Vegas. And by the time we get to 2013, they were releasing their fourth and fifth studio albums. The uh, title is The Wrong Side of Heaven and The Righteous Side of Hell, Volumes 1 and 2. Two full-length albums released in the same year. And I've been told that uh, this song, which appears on volume one, is not only the third single from the album, the title track from the album, but it deals specifically with veterans and the struggles that our veterans go through. I've been told that this very popular music video for the song, which now has over 412 million views, friends, is one that is quite raw and emotional as we are bringing to the forefront the struggles, both mentally and physically, uh, that our veterans are going through. And as I continued to read in about the song and the video, I learned that the video is going to highlight the consequences of struggling with post-traumatic stress and on the ongoing needs, frankly, of our veterans that too many of our veterans are going without. So uh, let's get to it, y'all. Let's see what this is all about. We've got uh, Ivan Moody on vocals, Zotan, uh, Zoltan uh, Bathory on rhythm guitar, Jason Hook is on lead guitar and backing vocals, Chris Kale is on bass and backing vocals, and Jeremy Spencer is our drummer. So uh, I am going to be taking a look at the official video for this, friends. It is The Wrong Side of Heaven, and it is Five Finger Death Punch. Off we go. Hmm. Okay. Up close and personal, friends. Look 
with his eyes. I think that's Ivan, our, our lead vocalist. The wrong side of heaven and the righteous side of hell. of the song. It's more of a rock and roll tune than a metal tune. But I get the feeling that these guys have a lot of intensity to their sound. Yeah, that's not good, y'all. Our Veterans Administration needs more funding if they don't have enough. It's his buddy. It's his buddy. It, it's his buddy. Look at me. Intensity of the eyes really bring it home. Okay. Hmm. One veteran every two hours. Heartbreaking. Absolutely heartbreaking. Is that the end of the song? It has to be. There's two minutes left of this. Friends, they're going to put all of these organizations here. The American Legion, the American Veterans for Equal Rights, Blinded Veterans Association, Call of Duty Endowment, Code of Support, Disabled American Veterans. The fact that we have to have all of these independent charities, these organizations whose sole purpose is to pick up where our own government falls short. L look at all of these. National Association of American Veterans, National Coalition for Homeless Veterans, Operation Homefront, Operation Injured Soldiers, Sacred Trust. So many, so many it makes your heart just break, y'all. Simplify Fund. I can't believe all of these. 
course, you hear about the big ones. I don't, you, you, unless you spend time on it, you don't know. There's not enough information about this that gets put to the forefront uh, through our media that may, really makes it an ongoing issue. And shame on us, y'all. If we're going to send someone into the theater of war, and put them in a life or death situation where they don't know if they're coming back or not. And the reason why they're there more than anything else is to make sure that the interests of the American people and of our country are defended and fought for whenever there's a need for it um that's what they're there to do and if someone is willing to do that i don't care y'all if they make it back they should have their needs met it's it's a no-brainer right the fact that so many of those organizations have to exist because we are derelict in our duty of, of, of helping and uplifting those that have put on the uniform. That just upsets me. It really does. And it doesn't matter what side of the political spectrum any person might be on. I think we could all agree that a person willing to make that sacrifice and willing to make that and to really willing to put themselves on the line for that ideal deserves not only our respect, obviously, but our ongoing help support like like we will make up the difference we don't care how many of y'all there are uh we put you into that uh into that situation and because of that um you're not going to have to worry about this or this or this or this especially the basics like mental health care physical health care um it's available it's available for you 24-7. Just go to the nearest doctor. We'll take care of it. You know, come on. It's not hard, y'all. It's not a hard concept. And good on these guys for shining a very specific light on the shortcoming that we have. And this is 10 years old. I don't know what the current numbers are. Are. I assume that it's still a major issue, and I assume that there are still many uh, that are uh, needing the help and support of the American people and are not getting it, at least not sufficiently getting it. Um, and it's sad. I did come across uh, Ivan and Jeremy in a different YouTube video talking about some of the tracks on this album. And when they got to this song, here's what they said. I thought, I think it's really interesting. Ivan says, we were all in the studio and all of us were actually sitting there discussing the song title and how deep it was. And it just came about being that, you know, uh, that ended up being about the title of the album. And even after the song was already done, uh, it was the title of the album. So this song, it's fantastic, man. It touches base on everything from religion to politics. Jeremy chimes in and says, well, it's not exactly a death metal song, now is it? <laughs> I would say, not. I don't think so. Uh, that's not one of the more intense sounding songs that I've heard, but it's definitely got an intensity to its... Uh, to the heart of the matter, right? Jeremy goes on, actually one of my favorites on the record. 
It's got a different vibe. We kind of experimented with some different sounds, certainly some different drum grooves on this one. It's just different for us, a refreshing change, and it's a welcome change in our sound. Ivan comes in and says, most definitely, like I said, this is probably one of the most rounded records we've ever done for sure. And this song definitely exposes that. So they, it seems like, if I'm reading between the lines, they are <clears throat> typically more metal. They're more intense, a little louder or more thrashy. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing that. And uh, what I'm gathering is that for this particular recording, this particular song, this record, they said, you know, this is different. We gotta, we gotta really be attuned to what the song and the subject matter needs. And uh, they, they figured out that it doesn't need the fast, virtuosic, heavy, like yell through the ether type of, of approach. It was, it was more personal than that. It's an inner struggle as much as it is a, a physical one, right? And I think the lyrics are really, really poignant. Arms wide open, I stand alone. I'm no hero and I'm not made of stone. Right or wrong, I can hardly tell if I'm on the wrong side of heaven or, or the righteous side of hell. I have been lucky in my life, y'all. I came of age in the, in the nineties. And, uh, of course I registered for the, you know, like I was supposed to when I turned 18, but I was never drafted or asked to get directly involved in the military. And I don't know what I would have done if I would have been asked or forced to do that. I abhor conflict, armed conflict. I don't like guns. I don't like destruction. I don't like viewing scenes of humans harming other humans, less, much less being in a situation where it's happening all around me. I don't know what would happen to my brain if I not only saw that, but had to be involved in it in some way. I don't know. Y'all, I would not be okay. I can tell you that. So, um, wow. On, uh, on this Veterans Day, I am brought low by this. Um, we should be ashamed of how we fall short in how we treat our veterans. And, um, you know, uh... I hope that that can change. I hope that that can change and, um, and that, you know, honestly, I hope that we will need their services as little as possible because I think any human that goes into those circumstances, it does something to them and it, there's a cost to it. And, um, it makes me sad that so many people take on that cost. Um, I'm hopeful that fewer people will have to, to take on that cost. And if they do, that we are prepared to pay in full for what they have given to us. So there you go, friends, uh, a more, you know, meat and potatoes kind of, of Metal Monday, but, uh, that's what Metal Monday can do, uh, is bring these, Bring a, uh, a style of music that has the power, the innate power, and the, the guts to take on topics like this. And um, it was helpful for me today to go through this and to witness the, uh, the video, to, to hear the sounds, and to dwell on it for a while. So I'm happy uh, that you are with me for this one. Uh, it's, it's a tough subject, but I think it's one that needs our continual, uh, presence and our active, um, 
you know, response to. So uh, there you go, friends. Five finger death punch, wrong side of heaven. I will get to these guys again. I was really taken by by this song. Really, really just hits me right here. So thanks, y'all. We'll see you next time on another edition of The Daily Doug.